Hey, this is Nathan McClelland at Stillwell Pianos. We're going to talk about how to find the serial and model number on your piano. Um, a lot of times people have a hard time finding them. Most pianos it's pretty easy. Um, you lift up the lid, some of them are going to lift this way, some kind of lift from the side, and some are harder to open than others. But usually just kind of in this front area, on this one you've got your model number here and your serial number here. Um, sometimes they can be kind of in this area here. Sometimes you'll see a, like a tag or a sticker on the side over here. Um, and sometimes they'll even be on the back side of the piano, so you might have to pull it off from the wall. Um, you'll be looking for maybe a, an impress number into the wood, or again, another label that could be kind of here, here, here sometimes even on a beam. Um, but like I said, most commonly up here in the front. Um, sometimes they're in really weird spots, but for most pianos, those areas will find it for you. All right, now we're gonna look at how to find the serial number on a grand piano. With most pianos, you're gonna find the serial and model number on the harp just be below the, the music rack. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this off. Whenever you slide off your music rack, you always want to close the fallboard just because some of them will be up high enough that you can actually scratch the top of it when you slide this out. You'll find that some pianos, the music rack will pop up and some of them will have a, a small groove, so you might have to kind of slide around and lift a little bit to find that groove to lift them up and out. I'm just going to slide this right off the front of the piano. Leaves it nice and open so we can see everything. Sometimes the music rack can cover something up that you're trying to find. So again, model number, serial number. That's where it is on most pianos. Sometimes you'll find them on the V, right in this little area on the harp. Sometimes they'll be printed on the side of the harp here. And sometimes you might even find them engraved into the soundboard just below the strings here. Coming around to the back of the piano, you can also find them located on the harp here, just at the back end of the bass strings. Or coming underneath the piano with some newer ones, you might find a sticker label on the back of the key bed here, center, or on the other side, but most often on this side here. Some older pianos will even have them embedded into the key slip, which is this piece of wood that runs along the front of the keys. Some pianos, they just lift straight out with some pressure. Most of them, you're gonna have to remove the screws from the cheap blocks. Sometimes with just a thumb screw like this or with a large uh, flathead screwdriver. And some will even have screws that come in underneath to secure it through the bottom of the piano here. When lifting out the cheap blocks, the fallboard always has to come out. With a lot of pianos, you can just pull them slightly forward lift and it'll just pop out and you just slide it out. This one actually has screws on both sides so those would have to be removed to lift this one out. Um, also with some older pianos you'll find part numbers. Uh, these can be, they're usually shorter numbers, three or four digits long. These are not serial numbers or anything that we need to figure out the age of a piano. You're always going to be looking for longer numbers, um, usually at least five digits long. That should about get you covered for most pianos. Uh, if you have any questions that weren't covered here, you can always email me at nathan at stillwellpianos.com or you can give us a call at 480-207-6645. Thanks for watching.